If you ever want to find out a little bit more about Troy Vegas's property, um, Goose, look up Gooseberry Mine in Scientology in Athena Gold, Dave Burgess and Troy Regas <coughs> stuff and you'll find out that Scientology owns just about everything around, you know I mean, they're like all these cult corporates. But Troy Regas' property, even before it was his property, I knew it was going to be his property. Even before they were Hell's Angels, I told Troy that everything was going to happen and I knew that Dave Burgess was going to lose everything, 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 everything to Troy. And Dave Burgess had more than enough ample chances to do the right thing. He did, really, I, seriously, and he didn't. And so, like, he's just an example of what happens when people choose to not accept their crown or their throne or do the right thing. But I didn't realize that at the time, I mean, I'm just figuring things out as I go and stuff, but see, um... Right now, like, Troy, okay, your property, underneath there, all the nuclear waste and stuff that there, you know, like the Lockwood dump and all that foot fuck up bullshit, you know, plutonium and all that toxic waste. When dad was in Reno, and I was at my friend, she used to work at the ranch as a cashier or whatever, and then, um, it was raining and all, so there was this huge, beautiful, gorgeous rainbow, and I was lit up at her house looking over the mountains, you know, by where the ranches were, and I could see this rainbow. So huge and beautiful and bright, both so huge and beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> no, but I could see. I was like, "Holy smoly, that's really bright, beautiful, gorgeous rainbow." But it's pretty short, and it looked like it was only going from what I could see in the distance, way up on the mountain. You know, by the sparks, I could see this little rainbow. But it looked like it just started and stopped right there on the property by where the ranches were. Okay, exit 22 and 23. Um, uh, the Lockwood nut dump there, uh, the Mustang Ranch exits. It was, the old bridge, um, basically it's, uh, um, it's, uh, the biggest little city in the world, not out in the world. Anyhow, so I was like, oh, this is trippy, and I was like, man, I must be really catching the bus, so I had to drive out there to make sure to see, to see what the hell I was seeing, if this rainbow was really that short, and it was, it started right at, um, the Mustang, well, at, it started right at the mountain, that little mountain right behind where the old bridge ranch was, which Dave Burgess opened, which Ray Regas and his family ran it, but Dave Burgess owned it, but Dave, Troy Vegas and his family ha ha spent their whole lives um, making sure that they got everything away from those people who were doing those, those the things that they were doing, the snuff films and the child pornography and this fucking horrible, the most ungodly, horrible, horrible things you could ever imagine. And one day you're going to see it with your own eyes, because I'm going to make you look. Because you can't always say, oh, I turn the other way, I don't want to look, you know, it's always happens, it's always going to happen, bullshit. I'm going to have to, I'm going to go, like, somehow get permission to be able to have, like, pictures without, like, being in trouble for having pictures where I can show you, I'm going to show you, fuck, in order to make you guys care, I don't know, whatever, you guys don't want to fucking sit on the bench, but I'm not talking to you anyway. Um, but Troy, okay, his properties stuff that he has like all that nuclear stuff that they're doing over there and everything Troy you know like the dump site and everything Lockwood I'm telling you don't trust I'm telling you joking for you and Johnny Clady are still up to something I guarantee you mark my words because I used to go party with Johnny and hang out at his house and stuff you know he lived in the number one in Lockwood the number one main trailer or whatever and, you know he's but still, I know he he dropped out of the Reno Renegades when you guys became Hell's Angels because of disputes and discrepancies, whatever. And basically over who's going to be in charge. Because, um, you know, his mom was supposed to be left all the the organization and all the power of all this fucking sick fucking human trafficking child and I was snuffed on kidnapped. <laughs> whatever. Anyhow, Shirley was supposed to be in charge. Coletti. But then Joe Conforti ended up having the stay Burgess because his nephew, because little Joe, Joe Conforti's little son, heroin addict, he used to live at the ranches and stuff. You know, but fucking, the reason he was a heroin addict, the reason Anna Marie was a heroin addict, I know their stories too, okay? You know why? I know their stories and details. And I also know that Anna Maria, <laughs> I know what happened there too. 
my god. I mean, you guys got so much fucking skeletons in your closet. Um, I know how to get in underneath the ten, set to ten levels below um, that area, that particular area that goes from the Virginia Street, Virginia Street Bridge, uh, Reno, Nevada. It's like there's Las Vegas Strip here, Las Vegas Boulevard, but in Reno, it's Virginia Street, the main strip, and it goes all the way down. Well, the, the river goes all the way down through the ranches and stuff and through down exit or Highway 80 up to the Patrick exit, which is about seven seven miles past where the ranches were, where Troy Regas's property was. And that guy, Lance Gilman, um, you know, he thought that he was going to, like, take the Mustang Ranch building and carry it over in helicopters over to his gig over there and stuff and take all the whatever, 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 you know. And the gooseberry and science. Scientology, Athena Gold, and um, Phallus, Scientology and stuff, they tried so hard to get that property from Troy. And if you realize that that property is just a little circle-like area where it is, it's the only place in the world I've ever on seven, okay, it's Stargate. And the only reason that Troy has been able to hang on to that property is because, um, well, he was probably smarter than me because he never let nobody know how high up he was in power. He never knew, let people know that he had more money than God. He never ne let people know that he owned the Hells Angels Corporation. He just was the treasurer. <laughs> you know, I one night I went to the Hells Angels Clubhouse and they were all going to kick my ass, rode my bike and ah! And then one dude, Hells Angels, would come out, if Troy was the owner of the Hells Angels, I'd know it because I'm a Hells Angel. I'm like, whatever, you guys have my freaking clue. But the reason that he did that was because, um, well, anyhow, so, the Troy and Hells Angels and the some of the Hells Angels were into that fucked up shit like Trinity's dad but then he quit be doing it you know whatever and I ha I have a picture of Trinity's dad he sent or tr somebody sent it to me from Trinity's address saying that he was dead but I, I don't know what Troy you know who he is and he's reptilian just in case and if you guys like you know <sighs> okay so where was I getting back at with this um I think I'm just stoned and rambling. You know, so you know what I did? I fucking can't get no more drugs. I had enough money to get enough drugs to last me for another week, week and a half. But you know what I did? I said, oh, I can't do drugs, so I'm going to go gamble and, and win the money, enough money to get my teeth. They didn't even show me no mercy. They just, look, took it, took it, took it. 